What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are excited for some new spring beauty because I have four of the newest lipsticks from Merit Beauty. These are the new signature lip lightweight lipsticks. If you guys like hydrating lipsticks, you want to hear a little bit more about this formula, maybe a little demo, maybe some swatches of the shades, then keep watching. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Sophia and this is my channel where I talk about all things beauty and makeup, especially luxury makeup. So if you guys are looking for a little bit Bit more makeup and beauty and luxury in your feed then definitely hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to hear about every time i post a new video let's get into it guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i will also link everything that i mentioned in this video in the description box down below let's get started all right guys let's get into these lipsticks but real quick i just want to tell you guys a little bit about merit beauty merit beauty is a clean beauty brand that is available at the merit beauty website and also at sephora they are designated designated as clean at Sephora, which you guys have heard me talk about before. I will link down below some more information about what that means for Sephora, but Merit Beauty is very much a clean and minimalist brand. They really don't launch a ton of products that often they're very, very intentional when they launch a new product, which is why I was very excited for these particular lipsticks. And this brand was founded by the founder when she was pregnant and she noticed that a lot of the products that she was using in her daily routine were actually not working for her they were making her sick and so she set out to start this brand of clean makeup products now these new lipsticks are called the signature lip lightweight lipsticks they come in eight shades and they are $26 you can get them as I mentioned at Sephora and at the Merit Beauty website and I am gonna swatch four of the shades for you in the next section but they do kind of range from like beautiful nudes berries i'm wearing the shade la venue which is kind of like a berry brown i believe it is described really really beautiful color so i'm really excited to show you guys those shades and these are described as a sheer lipstick with a satin finish and the benefits of a lip balm without the heaviness of a traditional lipstick it says that the benefits are hydrating and some of the ingredients that are quoted here are squalane and sunflower seed oil, which lock in long lasting moisture, papaya fruit extract to soothe the lips and raspberry oil, which moisturizes and adds a soft aroma. I've never heard of raspberry oil in a product before, but I'm liking it. I would say these, they have a tiny bit of a scent, a tiny bit of a scent. It's very light. So if you're sensitive to fragrance, I don't think this is going to bother you at all. This product is vegan, cruelty free and comes in and recyclable packaging and I will show you guys a close-up of the packaging it's honestly very stunning it really fits in with the vibe of the brand very kind of like clean minimalist but still chic and luxury I would consider this a luxury brand you know the price point is up there and you definitely have that luxury chic look I really like the packaging so these are supposed to be lightweight they're supposed to be moisturizing they're supposed to be nourishing but they are lipsticks I want to point that out these are not glosses these are not like serums or lip oils they are first and foremost a lipstick so as you can see on my lips today with this color Lavenue it does add a good punch of pigment so if you are like me and you have kind of like more pigmented lips, you are going to see a good amount of pigment. I didn't pick up any of the more nude shades just because my lips are a little bit more pigmented, but I will link a couple other reviews of these lipsticks down below in case you want to check out some of the other colors from other creators. Also, I want to mention if you are familiar with Merit, you will know that they also sell a lip oil. That is a very different formula from this. I also picked up one of those as well. And I would say that is very much, it is a lip oil. Oil. If you're looking for something that has a lot more of a shine and is more slippy and even more lightweight, definitely go for the lip oil. These are lipsticks. They're lipsticks and they both are very different formulas. So I just want to call that out as well. I also do briefly want to mention that Merit did gift me two of these shades. I chose the colors Tiger and Cabo and I decided I liked them so much that I actually went out and bought two more of the colors. So now I have four colors to swatch for you guys today. So if you're interested in seeing that, keep watching.
All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed those swatches and that demo so you can get a better sense of like the application and these four shades that I have in my collection. Now I just want to share with you my general thoughts about these lipsticks. If you can't tell already, I really like these lipsticks. Merit did send me two of these shades and I like them so much that I went and I bought more shades. I think all of the shades are very, very chic, very, very sophisticated. I really enjoy that. I know that there are only eight shades, but I think that's great. I think it covers a good range of colors, especially for kind of this lightweight formula. And I think it really is true to the brand because Merit is more of a minimalist brand. They're not trying to sell you 30 different shades of lipstick. So I feel like that matches very well with the vibe that they are going for. In terms of the formula, as I mentioned before, these are a lipstick. I like that they have pigment to them because for me, if I'm going to go for something that doesn't have a lot of pigment, I'm probably going to go for like their lip oil or a gloss, etc. I have more pigmented lips, so I want some color. If I'm going to be putting something on my lips that's a lipstick, I want that color. The formula is it's not glossy. It doesn't impart a glossy shine, mm, but it's very creamy. It's really creamy and very, very hydrating. I feel like it has decent staying power as well. I think these are great if you want something that's not going to move around too much, but you still want something that's really easy and effortless that you don't need a lip liner for. If you guys do want to add a little bit of shine, what I've done is I actually just take the Merit lip oil and I put a little bit on top just to add like a little bit of a glossy shine. So I think that that works really well too. You can definitely layer these products with the other Merit lip product or or another type of gloss or lip oil that's in your collection. Now, how do these compare to other maybe similar products that are in my collection? Now, just kind of thinking about some of the products that I've been talking about lately, if you look at the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Serums, those are gonna be very much glossy. Those are like high shine, glossy. They're also just not as long wearing and they are nowhere near as pigmented as these lipsticks. Compared to the Dior lipsticks that I recently reviewed for you guys, I would say, obviously there's not as many shades here, but I would definitely say that these are more creamy they're more moisturizing and definitely more nourishing than those Dior formulas I also find that these are a little bit longer wearing as well I just think that because the formula is like a little bit thicker it ends up staying on my lips a lot more I think they're a little bit more pigmented they pack a little bit more of a punch whereas the Dior ones they're a little bit of like a thinner sheerer formula and obviously, as I mentioned, they just have way more shades. Comparing these against the Chantecai Lip Cheeks and Lip Veils, I kind of feel the same way. I think that these are probably just as pigmented and just as moisturizing, but they're just a little bit of like a thicker, more long-wearing formula. They're very creamy. And honestly, I like that because I feel like on me, for whatever reason, like these moisturizing lipsticks, they always rub off whether I'm eating like I'm pretty much always drinking coffee so I do like that these they're very very creamy I feel like I'm putting a lip balm I feel like I'm putting skincare on my lips so I, I really really enjoy this formula and that's kind of how I think that they compare against other formulas that maybe I've been talking about on my Instagram and here on YouTube. But comment down below and let me know if you want comparisons against any other kind of like moisturizing formulas that are out there on the market. I don't know what else to say guys besides I love these. I really, really enjoy them. As I mentioned, I already bought two more shades than the ones that Merit sent me. I think for $26, this is pretty reasonable given that this is clean beauty, given that it's luxury, it's a fantastic product and the packaging is also really beautiful. Thank you once again to Merit for sending me these shades. They also sent me a couple of other products that are in their line. So I do plan on doing a full face of Merit Beauty and letting you guys know all of my thoughts. So if that is something that you guys are interested in, please comment down below. Let me know, did you pick up any of these particular lipsticks? These did launch at the end of February and I'm a little bit late to the game here because I was traveling when these were first released. So you guys probably saw me talk about these on Instagram. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, we have a lot of fun over there. That is honestly where I tell you guys first 
what I'm buying, what's on sale, what are all the good deals. I kind of give you guys little swatches and I make reels to kind of demo a lot of the products that we're talking about here in the beauty community. So if you are not following me on Instagram, I will definitely have my handle up here for you guys. And if you are still watching this video, maybe it means that you like this video and you should consider subscribing to my channel. I see you guys who are watching, but you are never subscribing. So definitely hit the subscribe button to join my community and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up you guys i hope that you enjoyed this little review i hope that you are having a fantastic day and i will see you in my next one goodbye